So, how did Glenn manage to infiltrate Kristen's perfect life of deviousness and success, you ask? Well, I met Glenn back in June of 2016 before anyone else in my family had. I had been begging Kristen for days just to eat one meal with me, and she wouldn't. I later find out that my now brother-in-law had been stealing her from me. I was jealous and very skeptical of him. I had managed to get Kristen finally to just eat one meal with me, but someone else was tagging along. Naturally, as a good little sister, I planned on barraging him with questions upon his entry into my house. Instead, he brought me an Oreo milkshake from Cookout, and I saw the smile on my big sister's face. A few months later, at Christmas, he bought me a puzzle. And for reference, I used to be told that I need to go on three social events before I can get a new puzzle. <laughs> so a free puzzle without a social event? Count me in. That was the moment I knew Glenn was here to stay. I didn't need to interrogate him anymore. He may have won my heart through puzzles and milkshakes, but none of that would have mattered if he did not love my big sister with all of his heart and soul. I saw it that first night just how much he loved her, and I knew in that instant he belonged in our family. Kristen is a beautiful and intelligent woman, and uh, Glenn knew it from the moment he met her. And I could tell from the way he talked about her, the way he acted around her, it was someone he knew, he cared about, and that he'd show a, a serious future with. Glenn is one of the smartest, most driven individuals I've ever met. And over the past three years, I've come to learn that Kristen shares many of those same qualities. Kristen, your brother and I couldn't be prouder of you. And it's great to see what you've all accomplished. And we can't wait to see all that lies ahead for both of you. gather together this day in the presence of God in gratitude. We give thanks for the gift of marriage and we gather to witness the joining together of Glenn and Kristen. We gather to surround them with our prayers and to celebrate and to ask God's blessing upon them that they may be strengthened for their life together and nurtured in their love for God. I, Glenn, take you, Kristen, to be my wife. I, Kristen, take you, Glenn, to be my husband. And I promise. And I promise. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful wife. To be your loving and faithful wife. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This ring I give you as a sign, as a sign of our constant faith, of our constant faith, and abiding love, and abiding love, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Spirit. Friends, I'm pleased to introduce to you um, Glenn and Kristen Boyles. i
I see how happy she is around you, Gwen. I know it's meant to be. It has been such a blessing to see your love and family grow with the addition of Rizzo, and I'm excited to see where else it chooses to take you. Welcome to the Funny Farm, Gwen. We're thrilled to have you. Walking Kristen down the aisle today, um, I couldn't have been happier, Cindy and I couldn't have been happier to, uh, to know that she's uh, in your hands, Gwen. Kristen, just welcome to the Boyle side of the family. We love you, and you and Glenn are just a wonderful couple, and it, it was apparent from the very beginning, so thank you so much for marrying my son. <laughs> The Boyles and the Sundays come together in a great bond. We're really, really happy that you two are together because you belong together and we love you. So, cheers. Thank you. Deep into the light.